Stab. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Kerbal Space Program. Hopefully you can hear me. Ha. I've had this game for a while. I know virtually nothing about it. Uh, needless, needless to say, I have never played it. I don't know what to expect. And the only thing I really know about it is that it's, it, it, it seems very, very complex. And I don't think I'm going to do very well. So uh, I'm also afraid it might be a little boring to, to, to watch on live stream. So <clears throat> we're going we're gonna to discover this together. Meantime, I've had a rough couple of days. So, uh, luckily, uh, Dr. Whiskey is, is out the lately. So, I summoned the captain, and I'm going to drink from his loco nuts. So, if you don't mind, I'm going to have a beverage or two. I'm serving this over over ice. This is very hard to pour out of. His his coconuts are hard to get a grip on. There we go. Hello, Daddy. I figure rocket science is going to be a lot easier to handle when you just your blood alcohol contents just a little up there. Okay, so starting. Is there anything I should know? going into this. Like, things to definitely not do. Hmm. Sorry. Hmm. It's nice. Yeah, absolutely. Russians beat us into space. They're always drunk. I'm going to crash a lot. Don't go plunging into the atmosphere at a steep angle without a heat shield. Well, obviously. Add-ons and mods. I, man, this game is complex enough, it seems like. These guys aren't tethered. I hope they're okay. Okay, training? Should you figure training? Or should I just jump straight in? Sorry, I take there's a delay, so I'm watching the chat the chat room. That oh my hair's pulled back. Alright. I hate to make you watch tutorials. This one may not last long. I might play something a little more exciting and Hey, I, 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 some, I, I saw the reviews on Steam. Glowing reviews. Thank you, Kretzing. Kretzing. Thank you. <laughs> so, among the most glowing reviews I've ever seen. So, I shouldn't write this one off before I've tried it. Oh, man. This is going to take all night. Oh, they couldn't voice it over. Need to build yourself a ship. Okay. <laughs> Figures the chat is over you guys. They're sorry. The, the, 
you guys are over the tutorial. I will show you around. Text couldn't be any bigger. At each step, I will lock out all controls other than the ones you need for that step. Okay. I don't think this is a very good live stream game. Especially with all this reading, man. By the way, this texture not blowing me away. Oh, I, f I follow generally what it's about, but uh, it seems to me there's a learning curve, or rather a learning cliff. Enter the vehicle assembly. Okay, fine. Very good. What you see in the middle of the screen is a construction area where parts are placed and your craft is constructed. That was inappropriate. The pods tab. And there's only one choice. It floats. It's unbelievable. You can look around with the following controls. Orbit the camera. Ooh. Zoom. This is not a good live stream game. Not until I've learned how to play it. I, I have deemed this a failure. I'd rather play something we could uh, we could have a little more fun with than than watching me learn a tutorial. I apologize for that. Oh, I'm sure, seriously, I'm sure it's a fun game, but not until I've learned it. Thank you, Joe. I I will definitely give it its, its fair share because the reviews are phenomenal on Steam, and I rarely see that. It's almost universally agreed upon this game is great. Uh... So I go to school to specialize. It's like a two-year. It's like a two-year college course, right? What came in second place? I didn't even see it. Second place on the poll. Okay. Testament of Sherlock Holmes. Fuck. Fuck! Ah. No, I got stuck on that one puzzle. That's why I quit. Man. Fuck. Are you sure? Thank you, Jeremy. And thank you, Amber. Cave story. Yeah, that now cave story is one that that I've seen a lot of, like a, a lot of praise for, but it really just seems like a pretty standard one pixel platformer. It doesn't seem like anything all that great. Admittedly, have not played it, but my initial impression is I'm not that impressed. Okay, no love for the forest or hacknet. 
Subnautica? Never heard of it. Not even once. That game the other day was palling around with Virgil. Is it wrong? I can't even remember what that was. It's Minecraft. I hate Minecraft. Let me explain to you. Okay, I've probably explained this to you before. Some of you. Here's why I don't like Minecraft. And it's not Minecraft's fault. My mind doesn't work in a certain way, and I'll explain how. If you were to give me a box of Legos, like a whole bunch of Legos, and you were to say, make something. Make whatever you want. I'd say, what do you want me to make? And you'd say, anything. Make whatever you want. And I would go, I'd go, give me an, like, give me an example. And you'd be like, just imagine something and make it. And I would stare at the blocks for three hours and then I would eventually make a cube. And that's what Minecraft is to me. Is It's a giant digital Lego set. And were you to turn me loose on it, I would just make cubes. I, I, I can't... I simply can't generate that thought, that that visual inspiration. It's just not there. That's the best I can explain it. You know. Oh, cubes are great. Yeah, I love cubes, but visually interesting, not so much. So, yeah, but, I mean, people have poured hundreds of hours in into Minecraft. I, I, I picked it up and immediately knew I was just going to hate it. Just... Because there's all these... There's all these grand projects of stuff that people have made. Like, really creative and... 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 Awesome, spectacular visual feats. And I would just... I, 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 it's blocks to me, you know. Anyway... I, let's just say my strengths lie elsewhere. Very fur farther elsewhere. Now, for you who like to play with Legos, Minecraft is is amazing. Like once in a lifetime, like a you know gaming era defining type of game, and I fully admit that. But yeah. Okay, Testament of Sherlock Holmes. I've never heard of Slime Rancher. I You gotta understand, I've kind of been under a rock for about a year now. Almost literally. Almost literally under a rock. So let's see. I'll give this puzzle another try. I've never played the forest either, so, and I know very, very little about it other than I think there's cannibals. Ah! Oh! Don't do that! Ah! That took a fucking year off my life! What is wrong with you? It's 
like Sherlock Holmes punched me in the face. Ugh. See this? Why don't you help, Watson? I this fucking puzzle. Oh god. Oh. This is gonna be horrible. Oh, there's a skip puzzle. I almost I, I hate to do it, but I guess I'll give it a try. Hang on. Okay, how do you how do you do this? It's too loud. It's too loud in my <laughs> Okay. Okay. That's how it's going to be. Okay. <sighs> See, you're not so smug now, are you, motherfucker? Why would the bank make something like this? Okay, you can't split them up. Or can you? No, you can't. Oh, I, I, I think I get it. Okay. And you can't select ones. Shit. Already. Oh god. I'm sorry if I'm not paying attention to the chat. I'm so fried. Is there a way to reset it? Yes, please, reset. Usually I'm better at this type of game.
Uh, again, I'm trying to look at this, uh, the the chat. I'm just seven, eight, two, three. Yeah, damn it. Come on. Wait, what have I done? No, stop it. Uh, I'm going backwards. That's just, this is bad. I've only had one drink. Relax. Oh, man. Five, four. Thank you, Bad Ash. No, Creepy Watson's not so much creepy in this one. If this was a bomb, we'd all be dead. I've got some of them in order. Why am I not capable of doing this? No, it's not Kerbal Space Program because I didn't want to spend six hours learning the tutorials and making you watch it. Shit, shit, shit. 
shit, shit, shit. What do I do? I don't know what to do. But why should I start over? I'm like, it seems like I'm close. But I'm not. I'm just going backwards. <sighs> Fuck you, Royal Bank. I don't know. How the fuck do I get over there? God damn it. You know the tense fucking music doesn't help me either. I really want to mute the music. And no, I don't want to skip the fucking puzzle. I got pride, damn it.
fuck. It's no good. It ain't right. So I had two. I thought I had something and I didn't. I may have something here. But probably not. Oh, I'm close. I know it. Watson's out there just giving really unhelpful advice. I say, hey, perhaps you should do this. How do I get around this?
There's no way out of there. I've lost whatever pro progress I, uh, I had made before. I can't stand it. I can't! God. I'm just going over the same tracks, aren't I? No, I know, you, giving me advice doesn't help because you're like 40 seconds behind. I need to flip these two. I just... This would be so simple if just I had a brain that worked.
fuck over there. Thank you, Daniel. I'm th this this close. I've already gone too far afield. Thank you, CRK. I've, I've fixed one problem just to make another. I fucked up. I had it and I lost it. Oh, okay, I'm, not, I'm sorry it's not thrilling to you, but... I had it. No, this isn't bad design. It's it's not. It's a good puzzle. I just I my brain doesn't work this way. And I had it all but solved. I really did. I had it. And now I've completely fucked it up.
how did that get there? Damn it. Ah! Get the fuck over there. Thank you, Jeremy. I think I'm... But how do I get these over? See, I'm fucking, I'm already breaking up my little pattern here and I don't like it. <laughs> it's empty. Woo! I am superior. It's just a box of dildos. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Well, this just looks like a box of. It looks like a real life game of Clue. These candlesticks are undoubtedly stolen. You don't know that. A hammer covered in blood. 
This key must be important to be hidden here. <laughs> Odd that occurred. Holmes, there is someone in that hut. You I don't know Watson. that. Come and keep your revolver at the ready just in case. I wasn't done looking in the box. And by the way, the sound is way too loud. Have you noticed that? The voice is down. Uh, hey, Watson, revolver at the ready? No? Well, now it's too quiet. It's it's kind of the volume is all over the place. Well, hurt the other one. It's not fair otherwise. Don't be afraid. I am a doctor. I'm going to look at your friend's wound. Wait, I've got some questions to ask. Don't treat the injuries, Holmes. Watson, early. Just let him bandage the wound. It's thin and precise. It was made by a sharp, well-kept blade. Any other blade, less well-kept, would have torn the tissue around it. And tissue. It be irregular. So what does that imply? In I don't know. Take such great care with a blade. A butcher, of course. And the only butcher in the area is Samuel Fletcher, who at this moment is replacing a window that has been forced open. He's a man to hold grudges, as anyone around. Children are in danger. A man as skillful with a knife as a butcher, and with a bad reputation to match, could easily strike a fatal blow by cutting the child's jugular. If he hasn't done it, it's surely because these little thieves broke into his shop at night. You know, the kid is bleeding. The poor lighting in this area saved them. I can assure you that Mr. Fletcher has spent the day... It, it's quite painful. Can we have bandages and medicine? Dr. Watson will see to your wound, but the treatment won't be free. Ah! I don't need to remind we need to see your insurance card. Already. Give me the address of a certain Kurtz, and the doctor will dress your wound. Wow! No treatment. You are a dick! I can't tell you, mister. Kurtz is a dangerous madman. Holmes, you go too far. You've actually frightened Watson, who's usually his prophet and herald. I could give Mr. Fletcher a compensation for the damage to his property, and he would certainly give up trying to find you then. But for that, you'll have to cooperate. Or else? Or else he'll likely find a less agreeable way of repairing the damage. Holy crap! I know everyone here. I'll help you. Renegade! Rough him up, Watson. Pistol whip him. Everyone here knows Kurtz. He's the worst person in the area. We call him the Colonel because he fought against the Wait, wait. Colonel Kurtz? We must terminate Kurtz's command with extreme prejudice. That was a reference to Apocalypse Now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We must protect these children from that butcher home. And you. I've had dealings with Samuel Fletcher before now. I know I know they're low. I turned them down, but they were really loud before. If he wanted to kill them, he would have done so, even in dim light. By wounding the little thief, he wanted to warn him never to set foot in his shop again. Forget. What? You you mean you lied to frighten those poor children? Oh, he's only put taking cleavers to small children, Watson. I have bigger fish to fry. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about a, a butcher throwing knives at kids. Oh my god.
Yeah, he didn't let him treat the wound. He's got a, he's got a bleeding knife wound. Five more flowers, my lord, for your dear departed. There's two in the shed over there, soon to be. Well, mister, that's a mighty fine outfit you're wearing there. You stand out like a sore thumb, and that's no lie. Mother, please. It's not as funny when I say it out loud. Very good job of it. That will not be necessary, however. But your fault was a kind one. We'd best be leaving now, sir. Here, please accept this sovereign as a token of my gratitude for your concern. Well, I never. You're a royal, aren't you? Generous of you, my lordship. You are very welcome, madam. Perhaps you'd care to come back to my place later. I don't want to think about your garters. If you're ready now, sir. Yes, let us go. Uh, who is that then? Must be a king. Talk to such a woman as though she was an equal. Doesn't got shit all over him. Let's find Batty Street. So what's so great about this game? It plays just like the other Sherlock Holmes games I've played. Have I not really gotten to the interesting parts yet? See, now, the thing is, I disagree. Crimes and Punishment was... It was well put together, but it had no overarching plot. It was just a bunch of separated cases that didn't relate to each other at all. Like, at the end of the last case, Holmes just goes home. That's it. Oi. What's all the racket? Closed. That clever bastard. Well, I'm defeated. You, Watson? Was this not the plan, to find his house? Yes, open the door. Okay. My God, Holmes! Oh, no, dear! And the smell! But what can have happened here? Stay calm, Watson. Take note of every detail and be careful not to move anything. Very well, Holmes. Allow me to move everything. Well, somebody had a party here. I have heard that the heads of the male and commander do not appreciate your operating methods. Methods that they judge as being too expeditious, even cruel. We are to Vena, yeah, sure. It seems to be a letter of dismissal. A military badge of the 58th Infantry Regiment of Her Majesty. Thank you, Russian fellow. Stipulating Kurtz's exclusion from the unit. He served in 1881. At that time, the regiment served in South Africa. 
Kurtz was in the Boer War. A newspaper covering the war in South Africa. Kurtz must have been following the war with some interest. Yeah, you might want to call the yard here. And it still rages. Uh huh. What are they doing there? Not much. Someone wrapped some meat up in this newspaper. The blood is still fresh. This is yesterday's newspaper. Ah, what was that? A ding. An old photo. It's written to our comrade Jeremy Kurtz from Commando J. Milan, Bloemfontein, 1883. Kurtz served as a Boer commando. He fought against his country. Apparently, our friend Kurtz served in both camps in South Africa. He was a fake Colonel Kurtz. But that doesn't surprise me. A traitor, deserter, and a false colonel. Oh! Charming. Gentlemen. Shame. The dog's bowl is empty. Ah! Someone brought food for the dogs, probably just before the fight broke out. Fight? And just after they had been fed, they attacked a man to eat him. Incredible. Is that a is, is that a crack pipe? Board, Watson. Oh, our deduction board. Kind of forget how that worked. Jesus Christ. The skin was deeply torn. This part is in shreds. The skin tissue has decomposed, yet the death is recent. Zombie hounds! This bandage is a day or two old, no more. What terrible wounds. The dogs must have been rabid. Rabid? This part is in shreds. The skin tissue has decomposed, yet the death is recent. I wonder. Only a dog could inflict so deep a wound, but it appears that the wound was gnawed at afterwards. <laughs> what should we do next, Holmes? I'm helpless without your input, Holmes. What a horrible wound. He's just... He's just horrified at everything. Size nine. Hobnail boots like those worn by laborers. Size nine. Hobnail. This part is each. Yep. The skin. The fuck went on in here? It is a dog bite. No shit. You can see the tooth marks.
What is with that? This bandage. Please take note, Watson. Ah! Oh God! I took his finger. Numerous bite wounds on the man's body, numerous bite wounds on the dog's bodies. Is that not correct? What am I missing? If anything. Gotta be missing something. Yeah, no kidding. No, I've checked the bodies. The bodies are all fine. As fine as they can be. I've looked there several times and it didn't there was no hot spot there a small burner small burnt balls <laughs> I've never had small burnt balls before. A pipe with a strange smell. For smoking balls. Doubt. Judging by the material on the tray and the pipe, the man smoked opium. A man of my own taste. I doubt if this man could have made his drug here. He would have needed a real laboratory. He would have naked he would have needed to take his small burnt balls elsewhere. There are no available instruments here for preparing opium. The man couldn't have smoked the opium. He's given a pipe that already opened up. He had a supply. Right? My deduction chart is incomplete, Holmes. We are missing an important detail. The murderer. Go to the clinic and ask if our friend might lend us his morgue for two hours. What are you going to do? Look I'm at dead bodies. Nap and picnic. <laughs> I've had enough, Holmes. You, you are just awful, Holmes. Awful. Leads us inevitably to a post mortem. As you're well aware, in the instance where a body's vital organs no longer function, every minute is vital. Be quick now and procure the room while I arrange the effects. 
And then he then he makes him do his bitch work. And kindly don't handle the small burnt balls. But I don't want to be watching. He's a wuss. Ah! Ah, Grant, you are still here. I need to ask a favor from you. What sort of favor, my dear friend? Might I use your morgue for a couple of hours? It concerns an affair of the greatest imp. Use the morgue. <laughs> imp. Dot dot dot. Letting you poke your nose in everywhere is one thing, but closing my eyes to I don't know. Wait, wait to write a line where he gets interrupted. No, it's nothing like that. Imp. No, it isn't possible. Sorry. Grant, listen to me. I don't insist. There's a fiver in it for you. Perhaps because you come from the rich area, you think you are entitled to do whatever you like. But here in Whitechapel, it's the real world. You understand? The real world, where we have to take risks. Do you even know what that means? And this shabby health center where I've been stagnating for years. It's a public oh boy. under my authority for whatever that's worth. I'm responsible for it. Responsible. Do you understand? Of course I understand. Okay. Good. Jeez. First and foremost, oh. that you are a coward. Oh, oh shit. Coward, I say. Oh shit. Sitting on your backside behind a desk for years, complaining about your fate without even trying to change a single thing about it. Oh no, there's going to be a British really white fight going to happen. Who was wounded in Afghanistan while in Her Majesty's service and who for a great many years has taken part in some of the most dangerous criminal investigations the country has ever known. But as for being responsible as you call it, it begins with doing your job properly, particularly when one is a doctor and caring for the poor Hit him. within our society. Hit him! The real I... Ha, ha, don't make me laugh. Ha, ha. I am a doctor too, Grant, don't forget. And I'm ashamed of my profession when I see the state of... He is mind. acting the shit out of this scene! Your disgusting morgue. You are going to allow me to use it, dear Balls. friend. Because I urgently need it for a vitally important affair that is way over your head. And whether it pleases you or not. Understood? You want to be like that about it? Do whatever you like. I wash my hands of the entire thing. Now that go get your fucking problem. shine box. Wow. This is a dismal place. Watson just came unleashed. Homes, it requires a great deal of precision. Woo! Don't worry, I learn quickly. Hand me a bone saw. What the hell did you do to Reggie out there? Good lord, Watson. <laughs> Yep, still ugly. Go carefully, Holmes, even so. Well, it's all he's gonna get an infection. Poke him. I must clean the body first. Nah. <laughs> I must mark the places to cut. <laughs> Yep. My notches are ready. Yeah, my notches are ready for your small burnt balls too. I can't do that. I can't. Well, it's not like I use a rib spreader for this. I guess so. I can't do that. Quick, quick. I can't do. Well, not with that attitude, Gloomy Gus. No, I can't. It would help if I knew what he wanted to do. No, I can't. This liquid found in the lungs should be able to tell us something. It's just lung goo. Ew. Gross. A ball of paper swallowed recently. What? I found free paper. Um, neat. What's it say? <laughs> P 
plan. What should we do next, Holmes? Well, you got no ideas on your own. <laughs> you know what that means. He wants to analyze his pipette. I am missing. What are you talking about? Well, analyze your pipette. Chemistry material. And smells as bad as the one in our sitting room at Baker Street. This liquid found in the lungs should be able to tell us something. If we combine the right combination of goo. Oh, yes, the poppy pods. Fatality. Boop. That didn't work. I, I missed a couple. I've just realized how this works. Five. I haven't finished. My ah, process. fuck. The right click just takes it right out of it. I'm gonna restart. I fucked it up. I must ask. Yes, I know. Four blue bits and one white bit. See, there we go, yes. Five green, two brown, two white. Four green, two blue, one white. I'm not sure what this proves, but, you know, the, the, the green goo... It makes certain bubbles appear. There. Poison and apparently very virulent. So by just combining different color goo together it made that yeah. Traces of opium curses on the bank drank opium. No. They must have prepared his small burnt balls. Must have something wrong here.
Oh. That was a most instructive post-mortem. This man was murdered by his accomplices because of his missing finger. Yeah, I gathered See, that. He was overly conspicuous walking around with a bandaged hand, as the police would have been looking for a man with a missing finger. But how did they Much like Inigo Montoya. Murder by making it look like a dog attack. The post-mortem revealed the presence of poison in his system. Everything points to it being a less potent form of the poison we found in the bishop's rooms. This man died as much from the poison as from fighting against those animals. I believe this new version of the substance provokes such a rage... The rage virus! ...that attacks anything in his path. And in this instance, it was dogs. We're dealing with sorcerers... Of Holy shit! Thank Those you, Cyclops! Thank you so much. They're attempting to obtain a particular effect, and they try out their formulae on human guinea pigs. You're saying that his accomplices forced him to drink it? <laughs> no, he took it himself, voluntarily. The poison wasn't to be found in his blood, but in his lungs. I also discovered numerous traces of opium. I'm beginning to see. They mixed this horrible poison with his opium knowing that he would soon smoke it to ease the pain caused by his wound. Exactly. And such a profound knowledge of both chemistry and toxicology is uncommon. Only I could have done this. Wait, no. We the reason and the manner, but we're really not any further ahead. How will we find the two other men who murdered the bishop? By going to 13 Burner Street. It is in this area. But where did you get that address, Holmes? Out of my ass. I see. He wanted to get rid of the address. No, he wanted revenge. I don't follow you. Of course you don't. The man with the missing finger began to feel the effects of the poison. He knew that he was going to die, and he knew that there would be a post-mortem. Shall we go? What? Even for you, Holmes, that's a leap. That... I don't follow you there, man. They have rats the size of small cats here. Ah, opium den. It would be. There's our opium den, Watson. Let's go. It's for for purely professional reasons. I assure you. Good day, gentlemen. Welcome. What can I do for you? We're here for the fried rice. What the fuck do you think we want? He looked within himself to give us your address. He was very helpful. Oh, I understand. Our clients quickly become regulars. Your friend isn't with you? Sadly, no. He is tied up with his dogs. That's as close to wit as Sherlock ever gets. I understand. I do love dogs. They are delicious. And make yourselves at home. Have you chosen somewhere to sit, gentlemen? May I suggest oh, a yes. chair? But we would like to ask you... Dot, dot, like dot. At home, yes, yes. The keys to the establishment are all here together. Interesting. Mm, and there's, there's plenty of good places to sit. However, will I choose? Hmm. Perhaps next to the great quantities of opium. Dirty water. This bowl is used... To wash smoking tools. When I love that dirty wall now. Ow! Poor devils. See, Holmes, the ravages caused by such artificial pleasure. Oh, it's terrible, Watson. Just terrible. I'd better confiscate this in the name of justice. Jasmine tea, judging by the aroma. Holmes might be a while. Poor devils. Poor. <sighs> Try not to soil yourself on my comfortable cots. Oh. 
Oh yeah. I'm just I'm getting hotboxed here at, as we speak right now. Whoa! You're big and ugly. Watson, you got Watson? Ah! We talked about this. Closed. It's not allowed here. Go on a bit further. Please excuse us, sir. Oh, oh, oh. Well, we have searched everywhere apart from two rooms. One of these rooms interests me particularly. You are thinking of the guarded room, aren't you? No, no, this room. I, I suggest we stake it out for a few days. With the guard. Let us be discreet and enter the adjoining room. It's locked, and it wouldn't be very discreet if we were to force it. Nevertheless, we do need to get in there. And the manager? Let us find a way of distracting his attention. Hey, look over there! Excuse me, sir. We'd very much like to distract you for a few moments. Have you chosen somewhere to sit, gentlemen? Not yet, but we would like to ask you... Dot, dot, dot. Well, so much for that fucking distraction. Good job, Watson. The key... Let's start a fight with that one guy. It's not the please ex You can't come in here. It's private. You can You gonna stop me, big man? I guess he is. He's just a wall of man. Why does the curtain keep moving? It's because I got a fan going. It's really hot in this room for some reason. And it's the ghost. I've been, I have I have a grudge in the house. Well, what kind of fucking distraction do you want from me? I'm gonna throw up on his fucking shoes? Dirty water. This bowl is used to wash smoking tools. Just throw it in his face. You can't please ex What do you want from me? Okay, what? I figure we just, you know, light an opium pipe and have some fun for a while, but no. Mm, jasmine tea, judging by the aroma. Give him one or the other. Make him sick. Have you not yet make <laughs> Have you not yet make I must admit Stumped. Aha! Tea made with dirty water. It's not okay. Somebody drink my filthy tea. Have you not yet? Make yourself. Watson, drink this. Room 
room service. Closed. Give it to the guy in the bed who's awake. You'd think, right? I don't get it. They're all passed out. Just go. I can leave. I don't think I was meant to leave. Burner Street. <sighs> there must be something else. Yeah, I thought of that, and it, putting the t putting the tea back where it was, but that doesn't seem to be the case, and I don't see how that would help me. Okay, what could that possibly prove? I don't understand Chinese. <laughs> but, you know, nice try nonetheless. Well, I tried offering the tea to the bodyguard, but like, wh why would he ever accept a drink from a weirdo? It's not. A you can't. You can't. Please excuse us. You've thrown me. Have you not yet? You are inscrutable, sir. The key to the the key to the locked room. You can't cut the please. I just want to go upstairs, dickhead. It's not allowed here. The please. Yes. Four. He don't want any tea. Wait, what the? F Ashes. It's not very clean here. Why would I? Lousy booze. Shut up, Watson! Another of our differences, my friend. You cure people, I make them sick. What is wrong with you? You just fed a guy something that could kill him. Good lord! What's the matter? Are you ill? Hey, mister! Why would you do that? That's fucking terrible. Like, why don't you just yell fire or something? You could have murdered that guy. The Chinese waiter is busy. We can go. I. This is horrible. We're committing some crimes here, man. Oh Jesus. I don't remember what it looked like. Crap. It was like Ching Chow, Ching Chow. 
Yeah, right. Oh, that clears it right up. Take them all. It was this one. Oh, he's very sick. There we are. It is simplicity itself. Yeah, just make some horrible poisonous booze. Poison the guy. Manager notices that it's missing. I shall be quick. And uh, yeah, you might want to hurry before the. I managed to return the key without being seen. Perfect. Let's go in. That was a vital detail. Thank you for that, Watson. This bill hook is very thin and solid. In fact, it's rather one of the better bill hooks I've ever seen. A ventilation window. This stick will serve as a weapon, or for something else. Why do you think you need a weapon? Phew! What a stink! This bottle is full of barbiturate acid. We use it in medicine sometimes as a tranquilizer. I'd better confiscate it for future um, research. Hmm, poppy pods. Ah, and the small black balls. All this material must be for heating opium before smoking it. Okay, I want to get through the... Ah, sorry. Aha. Uh -huh. This small opening gives onto the guarded room. Holmes, shh, listen. Ah, 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 ah. I don't mind getting money for killing, but he was a sort of pope or something. And we didn't even get... Grizzly Adams, or... I hate these Sherlock Holmes games. They must be worth about twenty pounds. But even so, and the boss ain't happy. And when I see him unhappy, I'm afraid. I don't fancy <sighs> ending up like Kurtz. Well, Mongo have have opium. Perhaps you're right. But we'll have a chance to make up for it. We just have to get it right this time. Because he won't forgive us so easily next time. They are the bishop's murderers, Holmes. The fiends. <laughs> Calm down, Watson. He is we so cheesy. Guard at the entrance. I think we should be able to find something in this place that would put an elephant to sleep. Very good. But then what? Then we take care of those two devils. We beat them to death with this stick. Knowing this incarnation of Holmes, he might. Yes, I know. This this Holmes is proven. He's full on willing to just kill people. I need some. You need a set of morals, you sick fuck. I need. I need. I need. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to figure it out for you. I oh, I get it. I get it. I need. Or no, I don't get it. I need. No. I need. I need. I need something. Need it. Yeah, I gathered that. 
I need. I need. I'd have to look away. Bing. Syringe that could be useful. Small balls of opium. Oh, I'll take a spoonful. <laughs> nice to have some small balls. Is there ever not an appropriate moment? My mind only requires stimulation when it is unoccupied. That is not the case at the moment. I am merely sure. heating these opium balls to obtain a liquid solution. Yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna chase that. You have a potentially very powerful sedative there, Holmes. Be careful. Such a dose could be lethal. Oh, quit your whining. <laughs> How do you know it is? This place isn't very favorable. It's closed. I hate the idea, but we will have to rely on luck. It's it's how does he know it's open? He sensed it was unlocked? I think that window is large enough for us to squeeze through. This window is well. Yes, and that's why I have the conveniently placed bill hook, which I don't know why else it would be here. It's open, but this window is damnably heavy. Perhaps a stick or a weapon of some sort. Good. We can get out of here. After you, my dear fellow. Very well, Holmes. But my fart ass, Holmes. Or I guess I'll go first. It's time to take action, Watson. Go and distract the brute guarding the door. Go and slap, Watson, slap him in the face. Yourself. You're an expert boxer, after all. It's not a matter of fighting. It's a matter of luring him to me. And you absorbing the first hail of fists. I imagine that the sedative is for him. Well deduced, Watson. Just don't give him the whole bloody thing. To bring the guard towards me. Good luck, Watson. Uh, sir, would you be so? Oh God. What? I? What? I was clicking on him. What what else did I should I have done? You again? I'll... I clicked the shit on him. I don't do something to bring. Uh, so... What the fuck just happened? Do something. What the bring... fuck? Uh, so... Wow, fast acting opiates. Don't worry, Watson, he's in flavor country. No, not that way. Let's get to the corridor by these stairs, Holmes. They're stoned out of their gourds. They're gonna be surprised. <laughs> 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 Holmes! What on earth are you doing? No, stop! Put your hands up! Holmes has gone bad shit! You're under arrest. 
rest. Take them away. So be it. Come, Watson. Let us go. The hell? Holmes is cracked. Like he seriously got some PTSD or something. Come back to Baker Street. It would have been better to join Baines to interrogate those criminals. Since when did you get a gun? In the hands of the police, those crooks won't talk, and you know it. They risk being hanged. I don't understand anything here. We must explore Woo! all our leads. Let us take a look at the map of London. Watson, you need to kind of distance yourself from this fucker. He's. I I admit I am intrigued at at crazy at crazy Sherlock here. Famous Westgate Prison, one of the oldest and shortest in the kingdom. He's always a straight up kind of guy, stand up kind of guy. Like. Do you find it strange that it still houses criminals as dangerous as Hans Schielman? There's nothing strange about it, Watson. The name of this prison is linked with numerous failed escape attempts. I think the whole and trip with Cthulhu kind of un unhinged him. Well, excuse me. Are you expected? Two for the matinee, please. I wish to meet with one of your prisoners, Hans Schielman. I'm afraid that at the moment that is impossible. Access to the cells is controlled strictly. You can't go there without permission from the director. Then would you be so good as to announce us? I am Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. Watson. Famous Holmes and Watson. What an honor. My name is Brighton. Frank Brighton. I have your autograph. Not even to take a tinkle. I'm sure that the director won't refuse to see you, even without an appointment. If you see the corridor behind the reception, follow it to the secretary's office. You'll find him there. Thank you, Warden. Why is the music so intense? Once Shieldman received any visits lately? None. And I'm sure because I've dealt with receiving visitors for several weeks now. I volunteer because it's a calm post to be in. We don't get many visitors and it gives me time to write. Just like you, Dr. Watson. I enjoy literature and the po Very good. Thank you. He just shoots the guard in the face. That man admires our work. You could have given him another time. Let's go and meet the director of the prison. Holmes has discovered the wonders of renegade interrupts. Sorry, but this area is prohibited without a pass. Please leave. All right. We must see the prison director quickly. I think he might be under the effect of scarecrow toxin. Closed. He's always marveled that things are closed. Yes. <clears throat> Good morning. Ah. Yes. Oh, uh, excuse me, I dropped off. Good morning, gentlemen. What can I do for you? I am Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. Watson. We would like to talk to the director. I'll just go and see if he can receive you. Hey, director! Why is her name tag facing oh, inward? Yes. I believe that the young lady is expecting a happy event. It would seem so. Don't pretend like you can deduce things, Watson. That's Daddy's job. This small rack is for urgent letters to be given immediately to the director. This charming secretary is Miss Jenny Patterson. Hot tea. I don't mind if I do. Mr. P. Patterson. 
No need to go in there. That's the whole reason we came in here. And the secretary have the same name. I'm delighted to meet you, Mr. Holmes. I am Paul Patterson, director of this establishment. Clearly evil. To talk to me. I hope this unexpected visit isn't to announce bad news. No, do not worry. We are investigating an affair of the highest importance, one which could potentially affect the security of the kingdom. Therefore, this... it is imperative that we interview one of your prisoners, Hans Schiele. Hans the Rat Killer? He's been in here for a long while now, and he's had no contact with the outside. How could he be involved in such an affair? That is what we would like to find out. And you have been commissioned by Scotland Yard. Now, right. Very well. I have complete confidence in you, Mr. Holmes. He shouldn't. I will draw up a pass that you should give to Warden James in the guardroom. He will show you to the cells. Thank you, Director. Keep me informed of your progress. And if there is anything else, don't hesitate. So to you just gave me free reign of the prison. Do so. I guess my reputation has uh, earned me some some leeway. Miss Patterson, you have the same name as the director. Are you related? So your name Come. name tag faces in. Anyone who might have made the slightest study. Is she going to forget her name? Would have noted the similarities between the young lady and her father. Mr. Holmes is right. I am his daughter, but he doesn't like to talk about it. I think he's afraid of being accused of favoritism. I'm sure it was your qualities alone which secured you this position, miss. Sure. If you must try out your powers of seduction, then what do you say about using them on the rat killer? I say, Holmes, I never! Oh, goodbye, miss. Goodbye, gentlemen. He, now he's even giving uh, Watson some shit. Why are you telling me this now? I know this. Okay. <laughs> this is all too intense for me. I'm going to call a break for now, at least. Uh, I need to get a refill on my drink, at the very least, see if I can pick something else. I'm sorry about Kerbal Space Program. I will try to learn the tutorials on my own, so it'll be way more interesting when I start doing stuff on my own. Uh, because otherwise, you're just going to see me run through tutorials, and it's not going to be any fun. So I'll change the name of this particular live stream. Um, close it down. Thank you so much. For showing up and thank you for the donations uh that's really amazing i was not expecting this um uh i probably w i can only take so much sherlock holmes at once but i will admit i'm very interested in the sudden dark turn that holmes has taken what is with this guy that's uh, it's it's rare to get me that intrigued so uh uh thanks for showing up i will see you next time don't know when but i'll try to make it soon